This hack tip is brought to you by Eero. Today on Hack Tip, we are talking all about grep. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Shannon Morris, and today we are talking all about grep. You did request it in the comment section of my last episode of Hack Tip, so today I am doing an entire episode dedicated to grep. So first off, grep stands for Global Regular Expression Print, and grep is basically used to print the output of regular expression text. Unlike the search commands that I previously discussed, grep searches inside of text documents to find specific phrases that you request. So what is a regular expression? Since we are gonna be using these with grep, well, regularexpressions.info describes them as wildcards on steroids, and we did do a previous episode on Hacktip all about wildcards. Now, sometimes you will see regular expressions shortened to regex or regxp for funsies. Regular expressions are basically special text strings that are used to describe a special pattern. They do get a lot more complicated than wildcards, but they can also increase your productivity once you have a few of them memorized. Now, I will do a separate episode on regular expressions and how to use them all, but in the meantime, let's focus on grep, and you will find that you will learn some regex just by using grep because of their close relation. So grep arguments are sorted like this. First you have grep, and then you have your option, and then you have the regular expression, and then you have whatever file you're trying to search inside of, or files if you're searching in multiple files. So let's go ahead and get into some examples. Now I did CD already over to my snub stuff folder where I have a whole bunch of test documents, so you'll see that on my computer. And in here if I use ls tech l you'll notice that all of these are just a bunch of text documents of show notes that i have done on previous shows and all sorts of other shows that i do you should check them out so i can use grep shannon with a capital s tech thing star dot txt so i'm wild carding tech thing with dot txt at the end to find the text shannon in any file associated with the name tech thing with something after it dot txt so for example i found uh, this one right here and i'll highlight it so it's easy to see shannon mentioned she was taking anchor battery blah 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 and this is in tech thing space one two three dot txt so that is where the wild card came into play is that space one two three keep in mind and I'll press up so you can see that command again. Whenever you are using a grep command, it is case sensitive for both the text that I'm looking for and the file name. Now, if I add attack I, so I'll do that right before Shannon and hit enter, that makes it case insensitive. So it's also going to find any time my name is lowercase or uppercase, like this example right here. But there is a slew of text here, so if I just want to show the names of the text files that contain Shannon, I can use grep again, and instead of tech i, I'll use tech lowercase l, shannon.txt, or techthing.txt. So this time it's just going to show me the names of the text documents. Alternatively, if you just want to see files that don't have the word Shannon in them, use a capital L instead. And you will notice in this occasion that all of my text documents have the word Shannon in them no matter what, which makes sense because they're all show notes. Now try those out with various words and I will be right back after a word from our sponsor. When you are looking to improve your wireless network, making sure your entire home has a strong signal is a must. That's where Eero comes in. They are launching the very first second generation mesh Wi-Fi system that comes with one Eero and one to two beacons. These are mesh access points, not extenders, and they are smaller, they plug into an outlet, they have an ambient nightlight, and they are more powerful than the originals. But if you already have the originals, Eero has you covered. These babies are backwards compatible and they can be purchased separately. Systems start at $3.99 for all three components together, but if you just want to buy one to add on, you can, and they are cheaper than the originals at $1.49 each. We've gotten a chance to test these in the warehouse where our wireless usually does not reach from one end to another. The Eero Mesh does a really great job of fixing that headache, and it gives me the speeds that I pay for. Eero is also announcing the Eero Plus subscription, which includes advanced network security monitoring, supplementing those features already built in that you get for free with 
with the device, and content filtering, which is great for houses with kids. Now with any system you buy, you do get automatic updates, two-factor authentication for admin access, and Eero's backing with a bug bounty program and third-party audits as well. Learn more at Eero.com. We are now back with more grep. Next, let's add a taxi and we're gonna find out what happens. Hit that enter. That looks a little weird. So this is going to show us how many times the word Shannon appears in each text document. You can do something similar to this with tac n, which would be like this. That also looks a little strange. This is going to show you the line number that the word appears on, as well as the sentence that it appears in. Now, if your search for Shannon also brings up output for words like Shannonanigans, I realize shenanigans is the actual word, or something weird, just use tac w to just search for the whole words that match the specific word you are searching for. If that didn't make sense, this is what it would look like, tac w, and if I type in just shan, it won't find anything because every time the word Shan shows up in these text documents, it's my full name, it's Shannon. This could also be useful if you are searching for the word hack, which also has derivatives, hacking, hacker, hackers, etc., etc., and you don't want those to show up as potential outputs. Now, wildcards will also work by themselves, so I could just search for Shannon in any text document by just erasing tech thing and adding an O-N on there. There you go. So that'll also find my name in all my Threatwire show notes, for example. But here's a catch. If you try to find a phrase like grep Shannon Morse with a wildcard at the end for the text file, it's going to error out seeing that there is no Morse file or directory. So if you do that, it would look like this. And so far that looks the same, but if I scroll up, you'll see up here, if I highlight that, Morse, no such file or directory. So what do you do in that case? Well, for this example, you would find that quotation marks or single quotes do output the right search terms. Exact matches work with single quotes if you are just searching for multiple words as a string, but if you need to incorporate a shell variable, for example, you wanna use double quotes instead. And you will notice when I do this in the doc, Morse is also highlighted in red anytime it is found. Of course, it probably goes without mentioning, but you can use grep searches for just one text document, just tab complete it. Also, if you have a bunch of subdirectories and you wanna search them all at once, you can use grep tac r shannon wildcard.txt or whatever your search is. Also, make sure when you do that, your tac r is capitalized, like so. And while this all looks the same because I don't have many other text documents, it will also find these binary files. So far, we have just worked with literal characters, which are literally the character that you are searching for. There are other types of characters in regular expressions that you would use with grep called meta characters, which are so meta, and those take a whole nother segment to explain. So I'm just gonna leave it at that for today. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash hack5, and hit that little like button if you you got some good info out of today's episode. Until then, I want to hear your feedback. You can comment below and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. We just got back from DEF CON a few weeks ago and we have tons of interviews for y'all to check out. And I will be there reminding you to trust your technolust. <laughs>